Should I look at the <clears throat> camera or you? You can just talk to me. Can you introduce yourself? Sure, yeah. Um, uh, my name is Richard Hendricks, and Jim. I'm the... My name is Richard Hendricks, and just. my name is Richard Hendricks. I'm uh, the founder and CEO of Pied Piper. I think like most people, I first heard about Pied Piper at TechCrunch Disrupt. Middle Out was a game changer. The winner of this year is Pied Piper. What you have to understand is, conventional compression was like rubbing two sticks together. And along comes Pied Piper out of nowhere with a frickin' blowtorch. It seemed like they really had their act together. I thought about acquiring them, uh, but I guess I got distracted. So when did you first hear about Pied Piper? You mean, when did I hear someone had first stolen my Nucleus project? Well, we had really just started um, a few months earlier, and like a bunch of other Silicon Valley companies, we were just working out of a garage or a house, really. Nice place? No. Those early days of Pied Piper kind of sucked. We had to clean for ourselves. It was like a shithole. But there was so much shit in it, it was filled all the way up. So it was like level with the ground. If that's true, there was a little meniscus in the shit. And that's where our dreams lived. One of my favorite things is to just be napping and then to wake up and have people around. And that used to happen all the time when I was homeless. But this was like that, but with shelter. I think they all abided by the same rule to like shower every other day. So it smelled a lot, uh, like B.O. And, um, you know, they didn't have money, so they, they didn't have a cleaner. Uh, and Lord knows they weren't going to clean. So there was, um, you know, a good layer of filth just on the ground. Not the kind of house you want to take your shoes off in. Um, and uh, yeah, it just fucking smelled really bad. It was all right. Jin Yang won the house for me in a game of chance. He told me to pick a number between one and 10. I picked seven, um, but it was three. Mm, you live, you learn. Now I'll always pick three. The fucking weird thing about that house, I never saw any chicks in that house. Never any. It was all just a bunch of fucking lame dudes. They should have been bathing in fucking shiju, like she jizz, she goo, she, like fucking, like, you know, like knuckle lube. There was one guy though, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, that guy fucked. It was Camelot. It was Narnia. It was Waco. And Richard was our dashing, feather-haired David Koresh. And we were his wives. But we chose to be there. It was kind of impressive how, how he found different ways to fuck up. He fucked things up over and over and over. Yeah, I, I met uh, Richard at uh, a talk that Peter Gregory was giving, and he pitched Peter Gregory a music recognition app that was fucking awful. Uh, and it ended up becoming Pied Piper. So what the fuck do I know? When people ask me about Pied Piper, I always tell them the same thing. Are there other questions? Uh, yeah, can you elaborate? Yes. Will you? <sighs> so you worked with Lori Bream? Mm-hmm. Uh, we spoke to Lori. She actually referred to you as her best friend. Lori Bream said that I was her best friend? Yeah. Oh. I, I, don't, I don't have to, like, go visit her now, do I? We had knocked around for a few years trying different iterations of what we wanted to do. It was at Rust Fest when things really got crazy for us. Rust Fest was the rock-hard cock that jizzed Pied Piper onto the world's tits. <laughs> <laughs> so much money. It was so much money that I actually looked into how much money it would take to fill up a swimming pool so I could swim in money like Scrooge McDuck. Not as much money as you'd think. It would have been an all-hands-on-deck at Yankee Candle <laughs> because I would, have, I would have ordered up a storm. There were a couple Soviet submarines I had my eye on. To me, it wasn't about the money. I just wanted to, you know, 
be able to put in people's faces. Like I wanted to go home for Thanksgiving and say to my sister like, oh cool, you're the fanciest girl in Mommy and Me? Well fuck you, I'm a billionaire. And fuck Darren too. Such a fucking asshole, that motherfucker. Yeah, times were good. They call it PiperNet, and it's coming to your phone. Tomorrow at noon, the Pied Piper app will go live on the latest 5G-equipped iOS and Android phones in 10 major cities across the country. AT&T says if things go as planned, PiperNet could be on more than a half billion devices within a year. And no one is more excited than technology superfans, like the ones behind me, who are camping out all night to snag a limited edition Pied Piper-equipped smartphone. If their enthusiasm is anything to go by, then a lot more people may soon be lining up to pay the pipe. <laughs> I'm Jim Gitman, KCTW. I am Pied Piper. 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 We are Pied Piper! Day of the launch, half an hour to go. What, uh, what was going through your head? Yeah, I mean, I'll... All indications pointed to a successful launch. Sorry, do, you have, do we have water? I mean, it was the most relaxed I'd ever seen him. He had the, the cool, confident swagger of a young Montgomery Cliff with none of the private sexual misery. Well, maybe a little. Oh, yeah, I, I was sure it was going to work right from the beginning. Pretty sure. Most of the time. We were all pretty nervous, especially Dinesh. He shat his pants. I chose to not be there because to me, I never did this for the fame or the adulation, you know? To me, it's always been about the work. God, to be around me during that time, I must have been so annoying. I was just walking around chest bumping any bro I could get my chest against. So uh, what do you remember about the launch? Um, there were some dogs that did some tricks, and a sports guy. Would you say that Pied Piper is your MVP? Most valuable phone? Yeah, I would. He was tall. Um, can't remember what sport he played, but nice guy. Uh, yeah, I was just trying to do everything I could not to screw it up. Tale turned nightmare come to life. Thousands of rats streamed onto the streets of San Francisco today. Pied Piper's phones broadcasting intense ultrasonic sound. Houston, we have a rat problem. The streets of Seattle became the streets of Sea Rattle, and everyone was sleepless. Giants fans going home happy today as the Cubs go down swinging to the. Holy shit! They're calling it Rat Mageddon. Yeah, except in New York where they're calling it Wednesday. <laughs> They literally became the Pied Piper. I mean, you can't make that up. What you have to understand is rats. I thought I might have to start a, a new division of my foundation to deal with the wave of rat-borne disease. When you think about a lot of the failures in tech, Pets.com, Theranos, WeWork, Pied Piper really is right at the top of that list. Pied Piper is just a millstone around ATT's neck! I say dump it! Dump, dump, dump it dump, now! Dump, dump. I lost so much fucking money with those guys. I got rat fucked. That's a pun. I made it all back, though. Sweet investment in the hair transplant sector. What? Rats. Aw, oh, yes. We have some of them here. Figuratively. They are dealt with. Here's the thing about rats. Nobody likes them. Literally no one likes rats. I actually prefer rats to humans if I had the choice. I had a pet rat when I was a little kid. I saw all the fucking rats, I was like, rat up, bitches! All these fucking chicks screaming, I got laid that night. Rats are wonderful creatures. We use them in many experiments in the early days of Hooli. Turns out they can withstand massive amounts of radiation with minimal damage. I mean, they live in a lab. What do they need whiskers and tails for, anyway? They were out for cheese and wires. They chewed through copper. They chewed through one woman's hand. She should have moved, though, I think. I don't want a victim blame. Do you know how they ended up getting rid of the rats? I think they just ran away. Where? 
And so, effective immediately, I am shutting down Pi Piper, deleting its code repositories, and liquidating its remaining assets. All right, that's our statement. We will not be taking any further questions. Can I just say that I am just truly, deeply sorry. Uh, this should never have been built. It is technically flawed to its very core. And we should all remember that forevermore. Sorry. Obviously, Mr. Hendricks doesn't mean that in any legally binding or actionable way. Get a life, guys. It's weird. It really seemed like Pied Piper was going to work. Something doesn't add up. Heartbreaking doesn't even begin to describe how all of us felt about the failure of Pied Piper. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. All of us. Shocked. Failure is terrible. Unlike Dinesh, I'm not accustomed to it. But I do want to clarify that I wasn't there at the launch, so the failure of Pied Piper wasn't really my fault. What uh, kind of advice would you give to somebody experiencing a massive public failure? <laughs> but I've never failed. So I have many advice for winners. Um, you know, my, my career has been a trajectory of succeeding upwards until I tired of being at the top. Well, I was pretty embarrassed, so I, uh, I laid low for a little bit. Uh, I traveled. Richard and I went on a world tour to eat, pray, love. Actually, I met uh, Jared in, in Zurich. We went to Zurich, we went to Amsterdam, we went to Copenhagen. I saw him again in uh, Madrid. Richard and I went to a flamenco show. I begged him to try it because I just felt that it would unlock his body. But um, he said he wanted to stay locked. Did not expect to see him in Thailand, but uh, then since he was there, we did uh, our little Southeast Asia tour. I felt like we were Tegan and Sarah on the road together. And lo and behold, he was on the return flight. It was the trip of a lifetime. I went to Tibet, actually, to try and find Ehrlich, but uh, he was gone. And then I came back, but no one really wanted to hire the guy behind Pied Piper. Uh, however, my best friend did hire me. And now I am the Gavin Belson Professor of uh, Ethics and Technology at Stanford University. This is all the great people I work with. Stanford hat. This is when Russ Hanneman really thought we should have swag, swag. The swag, a mug. This is the patent that Piper had. Middle out. May I be honest? There was a period of my life in which I would have rooted for the failure of Richard Hendricks. But that was a different Gavin Wilson. That was tech icon Gavin Wilson, not literary icon Gavin Wilson. Since leaving Hooli, I've co-authored 37 adult romance novels. Fondly Margot. The Lighthouse Dancer. Cold Ice Cream and Hot Kisses. Over here, The Prince of Puget Sound. Uh, and lastly, His Hazel Glance. All international bestsellers. Uh, G Gavin, a moment, please. I'm so sorry. What the fuck is your problem? You said this would be an hour. Oh, we're just running a little over. Yeah, with, with the lights and the machines and the sound equipment, how is this ever going to be an hour? You're acting hysterically, all right? We'll have plenty of time to write this out. Yeah, you know what? You know what? Do your, your little interview. I'll just write the book myself. Well, if okay? you could, you would, but you can't. You're stuck with me, and I'm stuck with you. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's what Florian says to Claudette outside the cheese cave. Oh, my God. That's what's the rest. that. Yes. OK, go put the kettle on. Yeah, put the kettle I'm terribly sorry. I'm going to have to cut this short. Thank you for coming. Oh, yes, there has been one obvious change in my life since then. 
I have a niece. My name is uh, Nelson Baghetti, and I'm the president of Stanford. Stanford. At first, it was really hard to find my office because it's on the second floor, but uh, I think I have it down now. You just go upstairs. You graduates have a lot of responsibility, finishing the important work of movements such as Pound Met Double Zero and Title X. But I feel sure we are in good hands, for as our motto states, die luft der fright wet, freedom blows. Wait, that can't be right. Can remember that? You owe us. Oh wait, hang on. Oh, Simon. Yeah, I used to play this. Let's see. Oh, damn. A little rusty. So I think I know, but but why did they call you Big Head? Oh yeah, just you know, boys being boys and making fun of my my big old dome. It's not because your last name is Big Eddie. I'm the co-founder of Newer Road Strategic Technologies, one of the largest cybersecurity firms in the Bay Area. I am the co-founder of Newell Rhodes Strategic Technologies, one of the largest I literally cyber just said security that. I just said that. You heard me say in that. In the Bay Area. Things are better when I say them. Plus, they're definitely going to edit you out. They're not going to use it. Why would they use it? That has nothing to do Why with Why don't you tell story. them how you bought the house next to mine? Because you love me so much. OK. F fuck you. How's it going, guys? Meeting time. We have a meeting. Mandatory. What do I do now? I, uh, I work for a nonprofit in DC. It's a, it's a think tank, and, and we just think about stuff, you know. So the NSA? The NSA? <laughs> no, no, no. Farthest thing from the NSA. <laughs> God. NSA. It's, it's a really weird question to ask. You're not. You're not going to use this, are you? Maybe. Well, you can't. You, you can't have people smoking in movies, so. OK, Jello. The old staple. I'm afraid we don't have kosher shrimp. Are, are you sure that even exists? Guys, later we're going to have a Joni Mitchell sing-along in the rec room. I love working with the elderly. One, two, It's like three. I get to have a bunch of parents and also be their parent. Let's okay, go. No, 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 Martin, Martin. She only has eyes for you. We were dancing as girlfriends. That's it. Except for Mr. O'Keefe, who thinks I'm his late wife. But that's fine, too. And this fall, we actually had a herpes epidemic among the residents, which is bad medically. But from another perspective, it's kind of touching. OK, we're on our way to the hostel. God, I haven't been there in such a long time. It was just an, it was an incredible time in my life, you know? I, I never really thought that I would have a group of male friends. You know, men just seemed kind of mean and hard, but you know, these guys were as sweet and soft as rotten fruit. You got your book? Prince of Puget Sound. <laughs> oh, Judy. <laughs> Hey, man. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I haven't seen you in forever. I saw you last week, I think. Hey. <laughs> you look great. Is that, is that a woman's scent? No, it's unisex. Hey, big head. Hey, Nelson. I work a lot with people who have dementia. And I just want you to know it doesn't have to be our show. Oh, cool. Well, hey, we're all here. Let's go. Let's go see Jin Yang. <laughs> you okay, Richard? Uh, <clears throat> hi there. Is uh, is Jin Yang here? Does he live here? We're we're all old friends of his. 
No, I'm sorry. I, I bought a house years ago from his estate. Estate? I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but Jin Yang's dead. Uh, okay, so he's dead. What do we do? It's different, but also the same. Hey, Gilfoyle. That's your horrible corner. It looks much better now. Changed a little bit. I fixed my hole. <laughs> Don't do it again. No, I wouldn't, obviously. I was emotionally charged. At the drapes. It's a playful linen. Hi. Hey. I used to live here back when I was poor. Cool. No offense. And then take in, I guess. President Bigetti? Whoa. How did, how did you know my name? I go to Stanford. Oh, no way. I work at Stanford. I'm the president. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what are you doing here? Um, I don't know. I think because Jin Yang died? I'm not sure. Who's that? Okay. My bedroom. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Didn't you, uh, used to wet the bed? Sweating. Sweating. Stress sweats. You can get so stressed, you, you sweat at night, and sometimes you can <clears throat> sweat on your crotch. So weird, we're all back here. Except for Jin Yang, because he's dead. And Ehrlich. Has anyone talked to Ehrlich? Nope, no. Nope. But wherever he is, I hope he hasn't blown through all that money. He definitely has. Yeah, I'm sure he has. We're looking for Ehrlich Bachman. In the other village, they said that he was here. Is, is Ehrlich Bachman here? He's here? He's that way? It's up here? So this is Ehrlich Bachman's house? Ehrlich Bachman. Fantastic. We're just here to see Ehrlich Bachman. Hello? Hello? Oh, oh, easy, easy. We're, we're friends. Are you Ehrlich Bachman? Yes, I'm Eric Bachman. I can show you ID. That's my face. I was a fat, but now I'm a not fat. I'm sorry, this is supposed to be you? Yeah, so my hacker house though, is a very unsuccessful, but uh, Richard was uh, okay. And uh, my favorite, smartest person was a genius. Do you plan on coming back to America at any point? No, because uh, everyone hates me in America. And uh, my best friend, Jin Yan, is uh, dead. How did he die? He died uh, helping children in Africa from the tiger. Jin Yan killed the tiger, and the tiger killed him at the same time. That, um, that doesn't sound like that's true. You're not true. I have an idea. OK, whoa, 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 okay. whoa, 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 whoa. I'm making the world a better place through an intelligent, semi-autonomous agent powered by distributed DNA-based compute that automates personal planning and scheduling. Oh, bots. Sounds like an atrocity. Let's just hope you have better success than we did. Oh, what company did you have? Oh, here we go. <laughs> uh, Pied Piper. Yeah. I'm unfamiliar. Rat invasion. We, we were a big failure. $8 billion valuation down to zero in one day. <laughs> Was that like a social media company? What? Pied Piper. Are you fucking with us? Thank you guys so much for your time. Hey guys, guess what I accidentally brought in my bag? <laughs> oh, no <laughs> way. Oops. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> we know this thing. Wow. I don't need a beer if we're gonna do this. 
Richard, be careful. <laughs> now do it. Always blue. 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 Congrats. Uh, no. No, I'm, I'm happy. And you don't, you don't feel bad that you never got to make the world a better place? Uh, I think we did okay. I wouldn't change a thing. I've learned a lot from my mistakes. Well, they weren't my mistakes. I've learned a lot from other people's mistakes. I think we proved to everyone the need for less immigration from Pakistan. The nice thing about freezing to death is you're preserved in your last moment. And if I could live forever in the last moment of Pied Piper, I'd be a happy corpse. I actually could, um, I, I still have it one copy of the Pied Piper code base. I have it on a thumb drive. I can show it to you. No, we won't, we won't look into it, but um, I just want to show it to you. It's just got a couple things on there that I think. And honestly, this is like when we were coding the best we ever were. So some pieces of this thing sheer elegance. I wish I could show it to everybody because I want to show it to my students. Not my class, but another. I know it was in the desk. Okay, this is weird. Shit, okay. Wait, where is it? It's it's orange, it's this big, it's just a, th just a thumb drive. So have you, has anyone, have you, have your crew seen it? Anything? I'm gonna have to look for it. In here? That's insane. Because I have this. It's gotta be in the desk. Is it a problem? Uh, no, not a problem. Um, it's just pretty fascinating. Although, if it isn't here, Where is it?